G'day, welcome back to Dad vs. Son, and we're going on with Fields of Fire, Volume 1, World War 2, Normandy, Mission 3, <gasps> and this is the start of 3rd Platoon's night of patrolling around St. George. Um, so, again, I have replenished the potential contact markers um, for rows uh, 2 and 3. <coughs> Excuse me, hay fever. And row four have replaced them with A's again, as per usual. The third platoon is going to start over here. They're going to go to the orchard as per usual, up to the farm as per usual. Then they'll skip over here um, to objective one, which is the roadway up through this hedging bocage and then come back the same way. Um, they're hoping that they get as quiet a time of it as uh, especially uh, two platoon did, because um, they basically just went for a merry little walk. Other than that, as per usual, I have all the company sergeants, CO... Ah, where's... Sorry. <whistles> Needed one more person. Where is... Ah, there we go. Sorry, the uh, one platoon headquarters out in the open as well, so he can get some commands to start with. Righto, so um, the only thing we really need to do is to do our draw for lighting. And again, this is a draw of uh, five, and we need a two through five. And we get a two. Ooh, lots of light this time. Okay, so it's only a plus two this time. There we go. Okay, so we're good to go. Let's go for it. It is... Everybody is still on a line. I'm saving up the points for the next mission and we'll just bump everybody at that stage. We should have enough points to um, get them up to um, veteran. Yay! Right out. So there is no higher... Headquarters event. So let's see what the CO's got. And he picks up five plus one for no contact is six commands. And as per usual, what he's going to do is he's going to bank one and he is going to activate everybody. One, two, and three platoon, XO, and no, he's not going to do. He's going to just activate one, two, and three platoon. I don't think he needs to do any more, does he? Oh, stuff it. Why not? Why not? Don't change something that's been working. Okay, so one platoon will get... Ouchie, wow. Five plus one is six commands. Well done, one platoon. Two platoon will get one plus one is two. And three platoon is the most important one this time. Oh, well done. They get six plus one is seven. righty O. Uh, XO will get 4 plus 1 is 5, and the sergeant will get 3 plus 1 is 4. Righty O. Uh, uh, uh. Let's start with one platoon, and he's simply going to use one command to go back into cover. There he is. And he's going to bank five. Two platoon. Same thing. Going to go back into cover. Like that. And he is going to bank one. Uh, do, 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 do. Just give me a tick, please. Back again. Okay, uh, three platoon. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, so again, tried and true. One of three is going to be splitting off a team. Uh, an assault team for one, go forward for two, into foxholes. There we go. So three platoon has five commands left, which they are banking. XO will use his 
one command to go under cover and he has four commands remaining and the sergeant will use one command to oh, this right he's over here Whoop. to go under cover and he will bank three commands we have two commands for general initiative and I don't think we're going to really do anything with it. No, we are not. Okay. So, the Germans turn. Uh, there is no higher headquarters because it's turn one. No activity checks, no capture phase, no vehicle phase, no update of fire missions. So it's potential contact. And we are at a B. So this will be an auto. So we are going to get number... Four. Oh, sorry. Yes, number four. For a B is number three incoming mortars. So again, uh, incoming. So mortars into here. Do, do, do. Boom. Uh, and a mortar spotter. Where are you, matey? Number one mortar spotter. And he only has one fire mission anyway. He will be under foxholes. And he will be positioned at 9. Which is uh, right front max line of sight. So again, he's back in here. So he's back in those foxholes. Let's remove that one. They snuck back in to the same spot where he was last time. How strange. Righto. So, uh, that goes away, that goes away, and we are good to go for the, sorry, he's not spotted, okay, um, we're good to go for the combat phase, combat effects, so this is the only thing that's happening, so we have our little man who is exposed in foxholes here, okay, so he is... Uh, minus two and a minus three for this one, I believe. Yep. So he's minus five. Plus one is minus four. Plus one is minus three. Plus two for the moon is... That was right, wasn't it? Minus 2, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 1. Yeah, okay. So he's minus 1, which is a hit for a line unit, and he has turned into a paralysed piece of jelly, which is no fun at all, poor bloke. It was a bit of a shock to the system. They were hoping for a nice, quiet stroll, a nice little patrol, and it didn't work. So he is now pinned there under fire. We don't need that. And that's the end of the turn. So there are nothing. there's nothing else to do. We go on to turn two, and it is the higher headquarters phase. And we do have an event. And the event is number five. And number five for us is trouble on the flank. No forward movement allowed this turn. Okay, so as long as we don't go forward of this position, we're okay. Right. Oh, so CO is still out and about. So he's going to pick up five and more. Uh, sorry, five commands because we are at contact which gives him six, and he is simply going to um, bank, no, he's going to crawl under cover for one. There he goes, and he's exposed, and he has five commands left that he's banking. Sorry, four. <laughs> Idiot. Because uh, he's going to activate third platoon, who has five commands at the moment, and they pick up another five. <laughs> okay, so 
they got a nine. Nine is the maximum that I give. Okay, so they're going to do a a um, blah blah platoon move forward in with the paralyzed unit here, who is pinned. Oops, sorry. So that's two into there, into the foxholes, and exposed. So that's two. And then they're going to try and rally the pinned unit. Now, um, righto. We're going to try and turn him into a litter team. He can still be pinned as a litter team. So here we go, and we go one for nothing, and we go two for nothing. So no, didn't work. One more, we'll exhort, and it worked. Okay, so he's down to five commands now, and this becomes a litter team, which is pinned. These legs are exposed, he's not right. Um, okay, so one platoon will pick up two commands and do nothing with them, so he'll be at his max of six. Two platoon will pick up five, uh, sorry, four commands and will be at five and do nothing. Exo gets one to do nothing, Sergeant gets one to do nothing, and general initiative is at three. Okay. So the first thing that's going to happen is the litter team is going to try and... No, it's not. They've already moved, so they can't move again. Can the... Can the litter team try and rally itself? Do, do, do. Or is it still? I think it's you can only give one the order once to a unit at any time. So, no, I don't believe you can. So, that's just going to stay there. Well, what we will do is we'll just split off a assault team from two of three. makes it a new unit but I still can't really move it forward so we're just going to leave it there like that that's one command more so he's left with four commands uh, no he's not that was a general initiative um, bum, bum, idiot that's it okay now it's time for the Germans there is no event and this bloke only had the one Fire mission, so again, he runs away, he's smart, um, so that's good. So the next thing that happens is capture and retreat. So he's pinned so he can't go anywhere, no vehicle phase, update fire mission so the incoming marker goes away. Uh, potential contacts, there are none. Combat effects segment, there is nothing. And it's simply removed the exposed markers. And we are up to turn three. So, uh, we'll do a shuffle and then come back and have a look for the higher headquarters event. Right, uh, and see if we can get these buggers moving a bit faster. Whoops. Okay. There is no higher headquarters event. So the CO is out of command of battalion, so he will simply pick up three plus one is four. So he picks up two. That's his max that he can hold on to. He can't do anything else. One platoon will pick up 
four plus one is five, but he can't spend any of them. Two platoon will pick up one, and that gives him his six, which he can't do anything more with. Three platoon will pick up five, which takes him up to, well, we're going to go to his max of nine. So, right yo. So the first thing he's going to do is he's going to order the assault team forward into the foxholes, who is exposed now. So we'll have a potential contact. That's for one. The next thing he's going to do is try and upgrade the litter team. Uh, he's going to try and unpin the litter team. So we go, oh, there we go. One, two was for cover. Okay, so the litter team is no longer pinned. Righty. Oh, um, now can we reconstitute from a litter team? Is the question. No. So we need to get it to at least a fire team first. Okay, so we're going to do that, because all we've done, well, we've rallied it already, haven't we? Rallied it to unpin it, so no, I don't think we can do it again, so we shan't. Um, Exo gets one, Sergeant gets one, General Initiative is a two, which again, we can't do anything with. So it is the enemy hire HQ event, and they have one. And it will be number four. Number four for enemy HQ is displace HMGs. Remove any on HMGs, any on map HMGs on cards with no US troops. Well, they don't have any, so it doesn't matter. Okie doke. Uh, enemy activity check. There is nothing. There is mattress. We're going to can't move him. Um, we didn't need to rally him for his um, his pin because it was going to come off automatically anyway. I, I had tons of um, orders commands to give, so that's why I wasted it. So the only thing that's going to happen this time again is the potential contact. Uh, no contact, and we are a C, so that's a draw of four. And we get a cover for one, cover for two, contact for three, oops, and a contact for four, just to make sure. Righto, so potential contact C number 10. Ooh, what's that? Illume plus patrol, that's... Package 17. Okay, so Mortar Illum. Boop. Like that. Plus Squad. Oh, let's go for uh, one of two platoon. Plus Exposed Marker. Ooh. So they've been caught out in the middle somewhere. Okay. Let's see where they are. And they are at five, which is front max line of sight. So they were heading out towards the foxholes and didn't quite get there. Or did they? It says they're exposed, but they automatically get the available cover, which is foxholes. So they we caught them as they were diving into the foxholes. Righto. Uh, they do not place a PDF, but they are spotted. Righto. So we can't fire at them. They do not place a PDF this turn, so they're not going to fire at us. Um, so that is that so com combat effects segment there is nothing nothing happens this is not the battle you are looking for 
righty o. So now we have the alum goes out, exposed markers come off, like that, and this is where it becomes a little trickier. Okay, so we're up to turn four. Oh, we should be able to get this one done. Okay, so higher HQ event is nothing. CO is still doing nothing, so we'll get a shuffle. CO is out of contact with Battalion. I'm just throwing cards around for the fun of it. So what we may try and do is we may try to infiltrate onto objective one if we can see what happens. Right, first up, CO will get Two commands, plus one, because it is, well, he hasn't placed the BOF yet, a PDF. So does he place it now, would be the question. I believe he would, because it's a new turn. So I'm going to anyway, sorry. So we have now placed our PDF, and we have... Uh, automatic weapons fire into here like that okay so the CO is doing nothing do, 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 do. gets his orders and can do absolutely nothing one platoon gets two orders and does nothing. Two platoon gets one order, does nothing. Three platoon gets three orders. And there's nine to play with. Okay. So three platoon. Three platoon. Mm -hmm. is going to do a platoon move forward. Um, sorry. Three platoon is going to order the litter team to the rear. And the litter team shall go to the rear in foxholes and be happy. That is one. Three platoon will now do its platoon move forward into the foxholes. Can't take that one with them. They are exposed in the foxholes and they will order. Oops, sorry. They will order the assault team forward. So that's three more. Two for them for the platoon move, one for moving him forward. They have five left. They place their PDF because they can see this bloke shooting at them. Our little assault team is exposed on the primary objective. Um, we are going to spend another go down to four commands, and we're going to get two. Uh, sorry, three AT to do a grenade attack up there. So we go one is good, and two. Doesn't matter. Okay, so we have a successful grenade attack. Um, and we also have... Small arms fire up there. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is... Nothing with three platoon. The XO gets one command. 
and he will order his mortar. Oh, sorry. There he is. The mortar section to do nothing. Do, 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 do. So the C, uh, XO will order the mortar Ford Observer with his one command to fire illumination down to here on this one. So it's a draw of two, three, sorry. Mortar for the battalion mortar is three, yes. So we get one for nothing. We get two for nothing. We get three for nothing. And he exhorts him. And he still gets nothing. And seeing all those infiltrations, I forgot to infiltrate him, didn't I? Because I'm a dickhead. Okay, so that's two for the XO. He can't do any more. So he has uh, four left. The sergeant is going to get one and do nothing. So we're up to general initiative and we get two. So the CO says, stuff this. Let's put our loom there as per usual. So we have a draw of three from the RTFO. And we go one for nothing, two for nothing, three for nothing. So we use our second command and go exhort and we still get nothing. Wow. Okay. I can dig it. So it's the enemy's turn. High headquarters, nothing. So enemy activity phase. So this is the only one here. Let's have a look at what he's going to do. He is... Uh, deliberate. He's not on the same card as anybody. Um, he is under fire. Uh, he has placed it now. He's not under a fire from a different direction. So it's simply trading fire. So a one will be no action. A two will be a concentrate fire. And he gets a two. So he's going to attempt to concentrate fire fire and he gets a draw of three because he's a veteran and we get there it is on the first one second one was the same and third one no but that's okay so he's got his concentrate down into here ripper reader okay uh Mutual capture and retreat, there is nothing. Vehicle phase, no. Fire missions, none. Because nothing happened. Uh, potential contact markers, we have one. It is an A. We are at contact, so it's a draw of seven. And we get one for nothing. Two for rally. Three for nothing. Lots of noise. Four for rally. Five for nothing. Six for contact and seven for nothing. Right on. So it's a potential contact A and it is going to be number five. And number five for an A is a blah, blah, package 10 defensive position plus. Okay. So the first thing we have is we have a squad. So we can have... Uh, Oh, let's see. Two of two platoon under foxholes. And then we get a squad and a leader. So we'll take three or two with a leader. And leaders with this mob get a rifle grenade because they're good. And they get foxholes as well. Okay, so the normal squad by itself will be placed at three. And three is front max line of sight. So let's draw a terrain card and we get a farm. So that is our front max line of sight. And we have him on there and they are not spotted. So 
So it's a potential contact. So there, he puts down a PDF to there. Oops, sorry, wrong one. To there. And that is for automatic fire. Like that. And just excuse me one. Sorry about that. It's just the hay fever's getting to me and I don't think you really want me sniffling and snotting all over the bloody place, annoying you. Okay, so for the leader and the other squad, their placement is at five. And that is front max line of sight, which is not going to happen. So we'll try again, and they have eight, which is left front max line of sight. So what have we got? We're, well, they're going to be a little bit wet in the marsh. So there they go. There they are. They are a potential contact like that. They put down a PDF as well. <coughs> Excuse me over to here, which also gives us then a crossfire into there. And that is done. So we have achieved what we had to achieve, which was to get two platoon up there. We have a unit of two platoon there. Right, so then we have combat effects segment. So let's see, we have, this guy is under fire. All these guys are under fire. These are not. They're just there. So we need to get the hell out of there as fast as possible. Right. Okay. So what do I want to do first? Okay, let's make it easy. <coughs> one nail attack, two wheel attack. One nail attack first. Right on. So we may as well attack up here first, and then we'll attack into here second. So this poor gentleman here. Okay. Is exposed for a minus two. Automatic weapons is minus three. Crossfire is minus four. We have one lot of fire coming across an open white area. So I'm going to take that as a plus one rather than the plus two, even though we've got this one crossing here. So we have minus two, minus three, minus four, plus one is minus three, plus two more is minus one. And the minus one is a hit on a line unit, and that makes a litter right here. Our assault team becomes a litter team who becomes pinned, which is okie dokie, I suppose, in a way. Right on. Now we're getting hit here. Okay, so we have. I'm just going to spread these out so it makes it a bit easier. There we go. Okay. So we'll just start here and work our way down. So we have three platoon headquarters here who is exposed with concentrated automatic weapons fire, so that's a minus four. But he has foxholes for one, inherent cover of two is three, and the moon phase is another two, so that's five. So he's actually at plus one. And a plus one is pinned. Okay. Doo -doo. So he's now pinned. Okay, so the same thing. We have a plus one for one of three. And that is pinned as well. And then two of three for a plus one. And that's a hit. And that's a hit on a line unit, which is a fire team and a CAS. So two or three got hit. So this is trouble when you do um, patrols. 
night after night after night, the buggers eventually work out what the hell you're doing. Okay, so we have a fire team there now as well, and a Kaz. Three of three, again, plus one is a miss, and three AT plus one is also a miss. Okay, so these ones are all pinned, and these ones are simply in the foxholes. Like that. Um, bum, bum. Righty ho. So now it's our turn. We've shot back into here. So this gentleman has a minus four for the grenade, but he has a foxholes, an inherent of one as well. That's two plus two, so that gives him a zero. Shuffle. Now, I know with three platoon that there's more than um, more people than three in the foxholes, and therefore there should be a penalty when they get shot at and stuff. But I think that's only for artillery, so I'm ignoring it. Okay, so zero for this guy is a miss, so he's fine. He's fat, dumb, and happy in there. Okay, so that's it. So, um, we'll remove the grenade. He's pinned, so nothing changes there. Uh, crossfire remains. We still have small arms fire into there because not everybody is pinned. Whoops, sorry. Um, concentrate fire is removed. And the exposed marker here is removed and that's it so we will stop it there and we'll come back for turn five bugger things have got a little bit messy let's see if we can get the hell out of here without uh, being totally destroyed so thank you very much again take care and i will catch you later bye for now